Bangladesh's garment industry is second largest clothing exporter in the world after China. It accounts for 80% of the country's total exports and it's expected to benefit the most from the fallout of the US-China trade war. US retailers are placing more orders with Bangladesh to offset increasing tariffs on Chinese goods. Because of the fact that there is now a trade war, uh, buyers in USA, uh, because of the price advantage, uh, they are looking at uh, this region and Bangladesh is certainly one of the beneficiaries of, of, of uh, those orders coming in. To avoid the effects of the trade war, Chinese factories are relocating to elsewhere in Asia. Bangladesh's low wage gives it a competitive edge in this labor-intensive industry. Bangladesh has the most sustainable supply chain currently and we are the most compliant. Therefore, there is no reason for Bangladesh not to gain from this, uh, from this opportunity, uh, but we would need the help because consistently Bangladesh has suffered um, a decline in prices. So we seek the, the cooperation and empathy of the rest of the world. Apparel export has boomed in recent years, but workers are not satisfied with the new minimum wage set by the government last year. President Trump's trade war with China is turning out to be a blessing for Bangladesh's garment industry, which has benefited from a rise in demand for its good. But on a recent study, 91% of the workers said their income is not enough to feed themselves and their families. There has been criticism from the workers' union and NGOs that the rise in export benefited only the factory owners and international buyers, not the workers. Gulapi Parbin, a garment worker, lives with her family in a small one-room quarter. She struggles with her monthly expenses. Without her husband's income, it would be hard for the family to get by. It's still very difficult for us. I have to spend a considerable amount for my children's school fees and other expenses like medicine, food, rent and so on. Although the country's garment export to the U.S. market grew in recent months, things may not remain so rosy if President Trump goes ahead with his plan and imposes additional tariffs on apparel imports. Bangladesh already pays 15.3 percent duties to the U.S amongst the highest of any nation. Tanvir Chaudhry, Al Jazeera, Ashulia, Bangladesh.